guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the final Windows 10 build before the official release, which is Windows 10 build 10.2.4.0, which is literally the near final Windows 10 build with the best of Windows 7 and 8 and 8.1 combined as one, and you get Windows 10 as a result. And we got the new start menu, which is literally a, one of the biggest changes in the system. It used to be in Windows 7 just ordinary and in Windows 8 total metro and at this point in Windows 10 they've combined both of them. The way they designed the start menu now it looks a lot more like, like, like a dashboard compared to a launching pad. Well that's my perspective. I think the start menu actually works best when, when live tiles can actually show useful information such as here the weather over here in Canberra is it just shows 8 degrees and Xbox it can also show some information from there. I'm actually not sure how you guys would respond to a layout like this. I think just like Windows 8 it will take some time to adapt but eventually you'll get used to it so, oops. so it's probably going to be okay for you guys. Anyway let's check out Microsoft Edge once again which is Microsoft's latest new browser which to compete against Google Chrome and Firefox and Safari. Anyway, with Microsoft Edge, since Microsoft killed off Internet Explorer, they needed to get a new kind of, they needed to get a new browser. So they came up with Edge and it actually looks really good with the Metro theme. So it looks really materialized, I'd say. So that's Microsoft Edge for you. It looks good and it's an okay browser. I don't exactly like it as much as Chrome, but I think if if I had a choice between in that and most other browsers, I'd choose Microsoft Edge. And it's still and it, the logo here actually still looks like Internet Explorer. Wonder why. Now Cortana and Microsoft Hello doesn't doesn't work, so I'll just keep that out. So anyway, as you can see over here, you got all the same setting, quick, quick notifications from here. And over here, this is called the new action center. So you can change in a couple of, of settings here. So you can change in your, your system to work for tablets, such as tablet mode. You can also have quiet hours, which means no notifications in, once it reaches a certain time, like nine o'clock for me. Now let's look at the settings as you can see. It used to be a full Metro app, but this is how it looks now. You got system, devices, everything. You can update using Windows Update. One thing you could actually consider with Windows up Update is that they're no longer going to be, there's going to be automatic updates. It's probably going to be automatic for just Windows 10 home users. So we got definition update for Windows Defender and security update. Now let's check out some of the other Metro apps like Calendar. So you can just work on, no need an account, but this is how the calendar looks. It, I could actually relate this the way it's designed to Android's lollipop material design, which I actually really like. It should actually make a dark version for this we got photos which you can import many photos it looks really dark it has a dark theme to it unlike calendar and and it, it could be a good competitor against iPhoto for that matter we also got OneNote you could just jot down things to remember and I actually like the fact that it's built in so so while that's loading, you can extend it. Metro apps are just like ordinary. But since I don't have Microsoft account now, I won't. We got here Phone Companion, which works with win any Windows phone that runs Windows 10. 
And even better, it actually works on Android as an iPhone or iPad as well. So that's really impressive for Windows. You, since we can also change the tabs, so life at a glance, I'm just going to say Metro, Metro 1. Now you can also click here to get Microsoft Office 365, which I'm not going to and then we got a new app called Sway. Don't know what that is, but you can start using it eventually. Now, the Windows Explorer in general, the file manager, looks almost the same as Windows 7 and 8, but you've got new materialized icons as well. Otherwise, it looks, the file manager doesn't seem that much, it doesn't seem that different compared to Windows 7 and 8 except for the icons, of course. And we now got a Microsoft OneDrive built in as well. Microsoft OneDrive is like a competitor to Apple's iCloud and Google Drive. So that's... Now, you, if you want to search up something, I'll just search up, for that matter, Sony. And then you can just click on web and it will automatically open in Microsoft Edge. There's also a built-in game called Microsoft Solitaire Collection. So it's a good thing Windows actually brought brought some games into Windows because they killed them off in Windows 8 and 8.1, but they brought brought some new ones in Windows 10. This is a Metro app, but you but note that Metro modern Windows apps are now windowed and they can actually be on the desktop. But let's Let's actually place a solitaire collection. We'll play Spider. Spider, Spider Solitaire. This used to be in Windows 7, but they've actually now changed it. Play. I'm just busy being old. And it actually... And the graphics here is really fast. I don't know what compute graphics drivers you'd use, but for Windows 10, that's really fast. It's as fast as Windows, even faster than Windows 7. So that's one glance at, at Windows games. So at least they got that sorted out. Now, one thing I actually didn't tell you is that this is not a insider preview. It doesn't have an expiry date at all. So I could use this for a while and it's not going to expire. One other thing about this Windows build is that it's more stable than previous insider builds, despite the fact I didn't have any blue screens or anything like that. So. So they're also trying to do make it more stable than ever. While some people actually have tough times with the insider preview, actually I don't have a problem at all. Now the desktop is not the only thing that Windows changed. When you click on the date and time, this is the new date and time you get compared to Windows 7 and 8. And it also has a portable calendar here as well and you can change the settings straight from here. Now if you want to shut down your computer you just simply go into the start menu and press power. You got sleep, shut down, restart or you can go here and log out. Sign out I meant. Sign out anyway. And you're, there's also new sound effects X for logging in and logging out. So as you can see, it actually mixed the login screen. Makes it looks a little more like Mac OS, but bigger. So we got the wallpaper here, just like Windows Seven. We we now have a background wallpaper to suit it, to suit the the system. So as you can see, it's that Windows thing. 
this is one thing I like about the login screen. They have, you could put a certain wallpaper and that wallpaper will look good. So we got the same icons here. You can connect to a network. We got the ease of access. Make your computer easier to use. When we have the ease of access applications, which is for the impaired people who are impaired. And we got the power buttons too. Sleep, shut down, restart. So that's basically it. That is Windows 10, the final, well, Windows 10, I call it final preview. If you have any questions or comments about this build, leave it below. Windows 10 will officially come out on July 29th. So keep that in mind. Thank you all for watching and see you guys in my next video.